Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G and I am pleased that Kai Wheats has sent me this meter to review and uh, demo and take a look at. I have a couple other meters. I did a review on this meter on the channel before. There will be a link up there for it. And then uh, my buddy The Smokin' Ape sent me this one here. And you know, we'll open up, we'll open up this one then I'll show you some comparisons between the other two. All of these are great meters. All of these do something, whoops something interesting and different and whatnot. But uh, what makes this one better? Let's open it up and find out. I have not opened this up. So I gotta get out my knife and cut it open. And then we'll get inside. Okay, I like that. So first off, it's not it's not a hard case, but it's not a, a flimsy little case. So that's something that I like. And there is, there's a thick owner's manual. 30, 36 pages, three year warranty is nice, but we get 36 pages. Let me get some more light on the subject, that stinks. 36 pages in English and then the rest is a different language. There's actually more English than anything else. Excellent, but as we always say on this channel, who needs instructions? So what I was getting at with this case is it's a soft case, but it's not so soft. This is just, a single layer of fabric there's no there's no strength there's no protection it's just a way to gather your supplies this is a hard case it's also a single layer of protection but you're not going to break this unless you're really seriously trying something like driving over it again these serve different purposes it's got a nice carry strap looks like you can tuck it right in if you don't like carry straps so like tuck it in like that and now it's out of the way and gone So, a little bit smaller of a profile. I don't know, it's gonna be in a drawer most of its life when it's not in use, so the strap doesn't bother me one way or the other. The meter is strapped in. There's a separate place for your leads. You get a normal set of leads. They've got protection, protective covers on the tips, which is nice. So you can work in close proximity without fear of shorting most things out. More trash. It's got a temperature probe. I have not used the temperature probe for anything yet. I'm going to keep that in the baggie because number one, this is a resealable bag and not a stapled bag. And number two, it won't get hooked up with this. So we'll put that back in there. And then two sets of batteries. That's nice. I'll keep the spare set down in the bottom there. And then the meter itself. Okay. That's not bad. It's not great. It's not bad. It'll make it so when you open it up, it doesn't fall out. And do we get three sets of batteries or just two? We only get two sets of batteries. That's not a problem. Two sets is better than one set. Two is one, one is none kind of thing. So we've got to get this thing out. Somehow. Okay, well the protective case isn't going to fall off easily. That's a good feature. Apparently it's also not going to come, <laughs> not going to give up the, the goods easy either. Maybe I'm just being too gentle. All right, here we go with that. I need a screwdriver. Get the batteries in. Yeah, I know, wrong tool for the job. And it's on. Something rattling around inside. Okay, so it's friendly around. Nice ceramic fuses. Actual real chips inside instead of glue blobs full of stuff. And then the other side of this is the display. So not much need to tear it down anymore. There is a LED there it looks like, is that right? Places to put your probes in. There was a little solder blob there and I don't know if that's mine or theirs. Might be theirs because there ain't nothing rattling around anymore. If that's what it was, that could be bad news, but they do have a three year warranty, so minor defects happen. Well, 
Warning, to avoid electrical shock, remove test leads before opening case. To prevent fire, install fuse with amp voltage rating shown. So it shows you the two fuses, 600 milliamp fuse and a 10 amp fuse. So it's good for at least up to 10 amps. Let's put the case back on. Okay, well the case goes on a lot easier than it comes off. So the ridge of the outside of the case is proud enough that it's not going to accidentally hit the buttons. Let's get this off here. Nice. That was almost good enough I could have left it on. That was almost a screen protector. But I know everybody would be yelling at me to take it off, so I took it off. All right, how does that look on camera? Can you see it? Yep. Okay, so you can see the viewing angle there. Kind of have to be pretty dead on. It, it works better this way. You can still see it somewhat. But then this way, you can't see it as much. But that's okay. I mean, it's my meter. I'm the one that's going to be using it. And if I want to show you what the measurements are, I will hand it to you. Or show it to you. There is the flashlight. See how useful that is. Works really good close up, but not so good as you get farther away. But it's not a feature that I would use anyway. I carry a flashlight with me, so. Turn all the lights back on so we can get back to work mode. All right, here are the probes. They seem decent enough. A good set of probes can make a marginal meter much better. There are probe protectors so you don't get goo inside of your connections there. Common and testing. And for most of your stuff, it's gonna go into this lead point here. I guess now we need something to test with, to test against. Okay, so I have a DC to DC converter. You can see on here that it's nine volts, and if you can't, I just told you it's nine volts. So let's test it to see if it is, in fact, nine volts. So I have the probe connector on still. Nine point one two five. and it's auto-detected that it's DC voltage and told us what the voltage is. And I am going to remove the cover to get a better, more reliable reading. Nine point one two. 9.12, 9.12, not bad. Let's compare that to another meter that I have here. And this one is not an auto meter. So we'll put the probe in. Wrong range. 9.06. And then let's compare it to this one here. Nine point one two. Okay, so these two here produce the same result. This one's close enough. I'll consider that a pass. Put these accessories off to the side. Put this other meter off to the side. All right, now we're back to this one here. Let's change the voltage on this. Let's see if we can do it live. Put this in. Put that on, we're at 9.12. Okay, you can't change the voltage after the time limit is passed, so we'll change that to 11 volts. DC 11.8, okay. 12 volts. 12.14, three volts. All right, 3.0, it took it a minute to stabilize. 
Now we need to reset this. 4.5. Let's go to 4.5. That's dead on. 5. 4.98. Six, six point oh five, seven point five, seven point five four, and back to nine where I like to keep it. Nine point one two, excellent. So that works, and you'll always get a little bit of voltage variance there. Okay, so I had to get some parts together to do some capacitance testing. You can see that we're at zero nanofarads of capacitance there. Let's uh, clip this in and see what we get. This capacitor is labeled 104 and if we look up our capacitor codes it should be 100 nanofarads and we are at 98. That's within tolerance there. So what I've got is I've got the red lead of the meter plugged into the white crocodile clip set plugged into the capacitor I've got the black lead plugged into the capacitor, plugged into the black probe lead, plugged into common. We're at 98 point something, 98.7. Good enough. Let's try another meter and switch the test over. 98.2. And again, capacitors, as you know, are going to have a slight bit of tolerance to them. I wouldn't expect a 104 labeled capacitor to read 100 capacitance every single time. Another thing that I do with these meters is my old man eyes don't understand the colors on the color codes and I don't want to look them up and I don't want to memorize them and all kinds of other stubbornness but really the biggest thing that gets me is the tolerance bands versus the background color. So we've got some tan resistors. I've got a blue one, I've got a purple one, I've got some more tan ones. And depending on what the background color is, the silver or gold tolerance band might not show up. Or in this case, is that a tolerance band or is it too close to the edge or who knows? So again, let's put this back into auto. All right, so we're back in auto and let's see what it can figure out. So I'll get a kit and the kit says that part R4 requires a, I don't know, 4.7 resistor. Yep, you heard the relay click, it jumped right into resistance. 56 ohms. What's this next one? 55.8. And those look like they have the same bands on them. This one should be different. 2.21 kilo ohms. And you can hear that relay clicking inside, 5.2 kilo ohms. Five point five kilo ohms. So it'll you hear the relay click to go off. Then I tap it. I tap it again. Twenty seven point six five kilo ohms. Two clicks of the resistor there. Thirty point eight kilo ohms. So that is doing its job also. That's fine. The next thing that I do is continuity and that's an auto mode for continuity so you'll hear the relay click and then you'll hear it beep that takes some time let's put it into normal mode because slow continuity is a pain and you can hear the tapping of the leads together That's pretty good. And it also has a little green light on it, which is really good. Not bad. That works. Okay, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. I like the, the light up part, non-contact voltage. What do we have to do for non-contact voltage? Okay, so it will do AC non-contact voltage fairly quickly. Now let's see how easy is it to get it back into the case. I'm going to assume that most of the time I'm going to have these stored away and not use them. Fold that up. 
toss that in there, that's not bad. Turn that off. Toss that in there. Good to go. And I will know instantly what it is because of the big Kaiweets logo on top of it. All right, perfect. I like it. Got a lot of interesting features. All right, that is it for the Kaiweets meter. This thing is pretty good. It is currently about uh, $45 to $50 on Amazon. There is a link in the description down below for it. And there is another video right over here I think you will enjoy next. Thanks for being awesome.